in search of dusky grouse with Tommy and Lola. The dusky grouse, or Dendragopus obscurus, are a large chicken-like bird, which are dusty gray. They have a dark gray band on the tip of their black tail, dark bare skin on the male's neck, which is a purplish red. Their plumage is paler in general than the sooty grouse. Immature description, similar to the adult female, but more streaked on the back. One of North America's largest grouse, the dusky grouse, used to be considered the paler interior subspecies of the blue grouse. Recent DNA evidence supports the split of the blue grouse into two separate species, the dusky grouse and the sooty grouse. When male dusky grouse are looking for a mate, they expose their red skin on the side of their neck and they sound their mating call. Dusky grouse primarily eat leaves, flowers, and conifer needles. Dusky grouse, especially juveniles, will also eat small invertebrates. During breeding season, dusky grouse can be found in dry grasslands and shrublands, as well as dry mountainous forests and subalpine habitats. In winter, dusky grouse are found almost entirely in coniferous forests. Dusky grouse are in the least concern category. Most populations appear to be stable. To help me search for the dusky grouse, I recruited my faithful companion, Lola. Lola is a year and a half old border collie who loves the outdoors and loves to search for wildlife. I trained her for deep snow searching. Hey, Mark. And I also trained her for speed. Go. Here you can see we had a foot race and she won. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh. <laughs> oh, oh man, you tripped me up. <laughs> you tripped me up. <laughs> I pushed you into the snow. Oh, dang. Here we are with Lola, and we are on Emerald Mountain. Okay, backside Howlson right there. We are going to look for some grouse up on top of Emerald. <clears throat> it should be pretty good because there's a lot bigger trees there, some lodgepole well pine and such. Um, they did a lot of clearing, but we should be okay. They cleared because of the beetle kill, and I think there'll be something up there. So we got the cross-country skis, and we'll see you in a bit. Emerald Mountain. Oh, gotta go way up there. Whew. Well, we are on our way up. Oh, at the top of Emerald, kind of. Very, very, very pretty view. Uh, there's the school. Right uh, there. Yep. Whew. Oh, we're going to keep on going up. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, here's Lola and I. And... We've made it to the top of Emerald, which is past the lookout, which is down there. We're continuing to go up because, yep, you've guessed it, we cannot find the elusive grouse. It's hard. It's hard work. But we are finally in its habitat. We're way up here. They like to live in these trees. Uh, I'm trying to go up higher, maybe get some bigger ones like these, but unfortunately, all the big ones were affected by a beetle kill, and they were all cut down and pulled off of here. Um, but like I said before, Lola is trained in grouse hunting, not hunting, finding, grouse finding, and we are looking for that grouse. Um, so Lola... Lola, look. Hey, where's the grouse? Where are they? Oh, was there one there? Let's go! She's off. Oh, well, here we are again <clears throat> with Lola. Um, there's Lola. We are even farther up. Getting tired. One more bend, I hope. <laughs> um, but yeah, still no grouse. I don't know what's going on with these things. I don't know what's going on with Lola. Maybe all our training uh, didn't pay off. I might have to change my species report to border collies because that's the only footage we're getting. 
and views, very good views. Okay, moving on. All right, Lola got herself stuck down there. Come on up. Oh, puppy, I gotta go save you. Oh gosh, this is gonna be deep. Hold on. Oh, poor girl. Poor girl. Come on, over here. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> We're turning around after this. All right, lady. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Fight for it. Fight for it. You got it, girl. Oh. Keep going up. You got it. Good girl. Climb. Climb. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. You you got it. Oh my gosh. Yes. You made it, little dog. You made it. Oh. Now stay up there. Well, we are back up top. I was getting the snow out of her paws. Oh, from here. That was fun. Um there's another dude that walked by, looked at me like I was an idiot because of you, Lola. Oh. Well, now the fun part, down. Um, this isn't really a cross-country ski trail that I'm on, so it's not very nice for going down. So, I think I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, look out! Whoo, little dog. Oh, this is kind of fun. A little sketchy, little sketchy. Let's slow down. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to. Oh my gosh! All right, powder in cross country skis. Doesn't really work. Oh my hands cold now. Here we are on our way down. And. Uh, Cross country skis. I uh, I don't really cross country ski much, but <clears throat> it was kind of fun. Good ankle workout, I guess, on the way down. Let's see who wins, me or Lola. I put my money on Lola because she's a cheater. She'll jump in front of me and make me fall. Won't you, cheater? All right, yeah, so unfortunately we didn't find any grouse, but maybe we'll we'll find some later this weekend or on our way down, because we're still in their habitat. And I saw 10 of them at school that one day, so, oh God, oh God. Ooh, powder skin. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Okay, we're back out of that mess. Who puts a hairpin turn in the middle of a trail? No more french fries for this guy. Pizza the whole way. Ah, french fries was pretty fun though, I'll tell you what. The problem is you can't turn on these things, they have no edges, you know? You gotta, you gotta like walk them over, which sucks. But yeah. Well, as you just watched, we unfortunately did not find any dusky grouse. Um, we had a lot of fun out in nature. I did, and Lola did especially. Um, thanks for watching.